Um, here we are out planting again. I just made the video loading the corn a few minutes ago. Had a few problems, electrical problems, and I just thought of a, a video I needed to make to answer a couple questions. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that one today. It's gonna be kind of a short one, or maybe it'll end up being a long one, I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna go through my monitor on my planter, and I don't know, I really hope this will show up. If it don't, I'm gonna redo it, so you guys won't even see this one, but here's my auto steer, my GPS, the motor that turns my steering wheels down here. Um, so this just drives and counts acres and whatnot. Yeah, I'll try to maybe brighten it up. You guys can see I've done 9.87 acres in this field. I'm 40 foot width. I got 380 hours of storage left. Um, this top box here, is my fold. That's how I, you know, switch these buttons to direct the oil to fold and use my markers, which I do not use my markers very often, as because I use auto steer. I do use my markers on the ends of the fields, um, so that's that. And then here is my, here is my monitor that monitors my planting population. Um, it monitors each row individually. It monitors their spacing, which I'm going to change it to the spacing. They're 8.1 inches apart, and I can go through each row. So that's row one is 8.2, row two, all of them should be about 8.2. Oh, there's an 8.1, and 11 is 8.4, 12. You know, I hope you guys are seeing this. Anyhow, um, the next thing is it shows the actual population, um, and you can go that through that all by row. So if I have a row quit planting, which when I get to the end here, I'm gonna, and this beeper's gonna go off and I'm gonna stop and show you what, why it's beeping at me. As you see, it says fail, F-A-I-L, and then it's counting the rows. All the rows have failed, because I obviously have quit planting, I'm at the end of my row, I'm turning around, the planter's up. So if I was going through the field, like I did a few, um, like a round ago, I had a seed tube fall off on row number six. And on on row number six then, my it said fail row number six, and I went back there, and it starts on the right, or the left-hand side of the planter, just like you'd read from the left to the right. And then it says, now it's gone back to my population at 25,000 almost. Um, I'm gonna stop here and go over my fertilizer placement. I had a couple people ask me about that. And you can see it's failing again to, I've stopped, so it wants me to know that the planter quit working. Um, and then it just goes through all the rows that's failed. If, uh, if my planter would still be moving and picking up my ground speed, it actually beep constantly until I went out and addressed the, addressed the situation here. Um, As you can see, I'm no-tilling into some corn stalks or maize. Um, you can see I'm just brushing the corn stalks off to the side. I'm not moving dirt, just the corn stalks mainly. Um, I think I'm getting a good good deal. It was good good earlier on the depth, so I'd imagine it being the same. But I just have a hard time finding this when you guys are watching. For whatever reason, I don't know. I just give up trying to find them on the video. Every time I do it without being on the video, I just go down the row and just find them all. But, anyhow, that's enough of that. We're not gonna dig in there anymore. That's not what this is about. So, my fertilizer. I'm gonna get a close up on my little flow things that you guys couldn't probably see from the cab. Here's my flow things, and those are little marbles. And as these tubes go up, they get bigger around. So then that ball, it's weighted, and I've got, there's different balls you could have been there for the volume of um, fertilizer you're pumping through them. And that ball goes up and hits the top when I'm put, roughly putting out 30 gallons per acre. Um, ideally, I'd run it a little bit further down in the middle. But I can't do that because then when I go down to put less fertilizer on, then my balls don't lift up. And these are weighted, but they're a pain in the butt to change very often. And I do change fertilizer rates accordingly, according to what my customers want. So each one of them tubes go to a, well, each one of them tubes go into a bottom one of these. 
and then each one of the top rows go out to a row. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine, 10, 11, 12, blah, blah, blah on the other side there. My uh, fertilizer placement that I'm using now, which is not ideal, but is all these tubes coming down. These caps here are spring loaded. So then uh, the fertilizer, when I quit planting, they shut off just like a sprayer would have on it. These are less poundages. It don't take as much pounds to open them, but that's what we're running here. The fertilizer drop tubes I'm using are, you know, obviously you see the rubber hose coming down and this is a stainless steel tube. Um, right here on that line is the center of the row and you can see that squirt. That's uh, a line of fertilizer right there. So I'm putting it off about two inches off to the side. You can see off to the side in the center of the rows right here. So about two inches off to the side on top. Um, not ideal by no means, but I uh, can't afford or buy the, the no-till fertilizer deals. And I'm putting way too much fertilizer out with my planter to, uh, to put fertilizer down in the furrow with the seed. I can only go up to about 10 gallons, they say, with that. So um, that's that. I was going to show you something on the end, but I forgot I'm over in this field and not on the other end. But this is going corn on corn. There's a soybean field over there, like where my pickup's parked. And I'm making this one big field, so there'll be two fields on this section. Oh, three, including that little one there. Um, this is some of my own, my rented ground, I guess. And. Uh, that's how we're doing that. And that's what we're doing today. I got about 160 acres down here to plant. And I think it's all in about four different fields. So it's gonna take the majority of the day. Um, it's been a slow morning. Getting fertilizer this morning was terrible. And, and, uh, and then I had electrical problems when I started and uh whatnot but i guess it it was due i guess i had a cord that came untied and and got caught on a corn stalk and got ripped off so i had to do some some uh, farmer engineering here this morning well, i guess by that time it was about noon um you can see i had drowned out spots in this field last year um which i guess it is what it is can't help it um, I did replant some of my other fields, but this one I didn't feel it was worth trying to replant. Um, across the road is pretty wet, so we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to plant that in the dark or not. I should be planting that right now and, and planting this field tonight, but we will see how it goes, I guess. Um, with that being said, everybody, um, I appreciate you guys watching commenting and subscribing. I hope I answered a few questions of uh, my viewers and uh, I guess we'll uh, see you on the next one again and so thanks for watching everybody.